Here's the CPU unit. Its outside edges are designated by the purple line here. It contains two registers which act as memory. Those two registers are connected to the ALU, the Arithmetic Logic Unit, which manages calculations within this entire CPU area. For example, an instruction may come by that says, add, add, let's make that thicker, add, to the AX register, value 5. These two guys here are called the operand. Well, there are two of them, so we call them operands. These two operands get fed into the ALU over here, the arithmetic logic unit. The control unit here now tells the AL unit here what to do with these two operands. It says, add those two. Add 5 into the AX register, which is a register up here. So the control unit feed tells the ALU what to do, and the ALU, but the control unit tells the ALU what to do with the operands that it now has. So you could say that the the control unit manages all the activity that goes on internal to the CPU unit is the manager, while the I.O. unit is responsible for sending and receiving. Cache, C-A-C-H-E, over here is really super duper fast memory that's used by the ALU and the control unit. And again, all these lines, these connecting lines that you see over here that connect up to different components, is referred to as the internal data bus. And here, between the I.O. unit and the north bridge, is the front side bus. The front side bus. Which is literally now, here, an external bus. External to the CPU unit, that is. This is George Bull. Please rate and share this video. Good luck.